Kaushal used to have big orchestra. Yes, he always had big what, orchestra. How many people were there? Uh, well, for example, in a movie called An, An. or a movie like uh, Mughal ah. he had a hundred people in the orchestra. One hundred. One hundred. I mean, like forty violins and things like that. Wow. And even so, the studios couldn't accommodate them, so they took the entire recording unit to the uh, shooting stage and set up everything. I did for a song like Zindaba, Zindaba. Yeah. It had this all this man, uh, Rafi. Manade, uh, Mahendra Kapoor, all the playback singers singing the chorus, along with all the lead singers of the ladies. Then a European chorus from the uh, Holy Name Church. Uh, they were brought. They were also brought to sing chorus. <laughs> all that you remember? Wow. Yeah. And then there was the uh, Indian chorus also. So can you imagine hundred piece orchestra, European uh, chorus of uh, say at least yeah. twenty people. Then uh, g girls and boys, Indian girls and boys, another 20. All these people have to be accommodated with four tracks. <laughs> yeah. So, but then the recording engineers were great, you know, like Kaushik mm. uh, or uh, yeah, there's a Mr. Mangesh Desai, people ah. like that. They were great men who did the, you know, claddy, clad. It was like a huge family. A huge family. Yeah. And did you have any uh, mental time for others? No, no. Oh, you I were had, all the time in music. I was with Navshad and music. I was very happy to be his assistant, so I did not want to join any other. See, you spent time with Navshad. Okay? Yes. Tell us that how Navshad was. Yeah. What was his personality? Yeah. Uh, how was he with uh, his staff like you yeah. and others? Yeah. Yeah. And just tell us about Navshad. Navshad was uh, fundamentally a Lucknowi Muslim. Mm -hmm. So he was a highly refined man by his upbringing. And he always uh, wore white kurta pajama. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had no pretensions. He never showed that he is a big man like this. Mm -hmm. Always, kya hai, kya baat hai, aap kaise hai? Like that. Adab. Uh, adab, okay, sad. Yeah. Then uh, what I found also, he was sharing things with me very openly about his early uh, days of penury mm -hmm. and how he survived the footpath. And later, how uh, the same uh, the, the theater near which he used to sleep, you know, celebrated the 40th day of Baiju Bhavara, some, something. He wow. went to the same oh, path, uh, same things like that. So, Narshad was a direct, uh, straightforward man. He had no pretensions and he didn't hide anything from me. If I asked him a question, he would straight away answer. Uh, for example, he became the um, assistant of Khem Chand Prakash, who was a big music director, but who died pretty early. But one thing he did not tell me, now which I came to know, was that he became the assistant of the unbelievable man called Anil Bishwas. Ah, Anil Bishwas. Anil Bishwas was that pioneer in setting up the recording system of Hindi film song. Oh, really? He was originally from Bangla Bangladesh. Bangladesh, the old, no. present Bangladesh, but yeah. old, what do you call, Bangal. Bangal. So he came, he was a working in Nata company and as a boy and all that. So he has run through the whole gamut of the Nata business and music. And he came to Bombay and he set up the fact that, okay, guitar, uh, tabla and percussion all will be in one track. Voice will be in one track. Violin, viola, cello, and the flute, and all will be in one time. This kind of setting, he decided. Oh. And his assistants were Naushad, huh. C. Ramchandra, what? S. D. Berman. You name all these people are his assistants. Oh, and he made lots of innovative technique of uh, recording. For example, the director wanted that a shot will be a group of, let's say, ladies are moving, are singing, and moving there. So he would tie uh, the microphone on a string and while the ladies are singing, he will pull the string and microphone <laughs> will travel oh, wow. and the sound also will travel. Like that. Things like that. Very innovative, uh, technical man, also a great composer. If you remember, one of the songs I will never forget is this one. Sine me sulagte hai arma Aankho me udasi chai Talat Mehmet. Talat Mehmet. Or another one. Now, there are so many wonderful songs of Anil So, Nushad was his 
assistance. He learned, if you listen to early Navshar's uh, recording and uh, early works of, uh, no, the late works of Anil Bishwas, they are very similar, similar. in patterns. So he was uh, basically treating you like yeah. uh, with other and family. That's right. You used to eat also there? Yes, I was given the breakfast with the children. And uh, <laughs> and uh, the, uh, you, uh, midday meals whenever we were at home. Yeah. The wife, uh, Narsha Sahib will sit on the head of the table. Wife there, me here and all the children. Amazing. Uh, yeah. But that was a disadvantage on the other hand. What? Because I was given only 100 rupees per month. <laughs> I was having 125 rupees as a clerk in that other place. That, yeah. <laughs> that pen company. Yeah, pen company. So, uh, how many movies you uh, worked with him? Uh -huh. Yeah, I the first movie I worked for him was uh, Palki, mm -hmm. and uh, then uh, Ramoshya, mm -hmm. Dulia, Dulia, Admi, uh, Sathi, Sathi, Sangarsh, Gawar. Uh, but of all these movies that yeah. you were involved, yeah. which was the best song that you think? And can you? That's very difficult to answer because the, some of the songs are uh, so close to you. Now, for example, Dille be tab ko sine se lagana hoga apko pyar ka dastur. And so on. I like that if you say, um, there are so many songs, I cannot distinguish sure. like that. They are so but all wonderful uh, songs. Uh, yeah. Orchestrally and melodically, but much more important, lyrically, they are all masterpieces. You see, there is no third rate lyrics with Navshad because he himself was a poet. Oh, Navshad was a poet. A poet. Because uh, this I, I think I should share with you because we think. These people make some tune and give the tune to the lyricist and they write the lyric. Naushad and the lyricist, after hearing the story from the director or the whoever, they will sit themselves, lock Together. themselves up for seven days. What? <laughs> to write the lyrics first. They will decide, okay, this is a love song is happening in the evening and uh, I'm going to use the Rag uh, Yaman Kalyan and uh, the mood is not very exuberant but modest. So we will have Dadra and then uh, the lyrics should, then they start thinking about what is the Mukhara. Achha. So they will start with like Lagana Hoga, huh. Milana Hoga, Kilana Hoga, Falana Hoga. So they will write some 200 rhymes like that. Oh really? You understand? Yeah. yeah. And then whichever fits their story, they will make the pre-portion of the line. Very scientific. Very scientific, but time consuming. Imagine 200 lines. Finally, what we need is only 20 lines. Yeah. So, but that much effort they put. That is why the old Hindi songs never die because they are extraordinary poetries. Okay? But, but as this was going on, yeah, that you met so many people, yeah. and so, I mean, so much to be talked about. Okay? Yeah. But couple of things still uh, bug me. Yeah. Uh, one question I have is that it always happens in all fields, including yeah. my own. Yeah, of course. There, there is always somebody in the corner, okay, yeah, yeah. who is doing a great job. Yeah. And that job is appreciated by people. Yeah. And, but I'm the not credit. saying he does not get credit, yeah. but he is not identified yeah. with the job. Good point. So are there some songs where you think or you know oh, yeah. this happened? See, if you analyze the works of Naushad, there are several streaks if you see for example pieces like jadu bhare nanno me jadu bhare tingrading tingging nanna nanne to dikiya teri kasam tan 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 this one like that there are several songs in this mold for example uh, uh, that's one paragraph okay. another one is a heavy classical man tar pak it's another, another yeah. compositional technique. Now, there is, a, let's say, Guzre Aaj Ishq Me Tananan Mukam Se Guzre It's 
another style. Yeah. So all these are not Naudshah's personal uh, input. Okay. He has collected this material from various sources. Uh -huh. Some of them may be ghost composers. Some of them may be these assistants. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are, I cannot pin it down and say, oh, this is this by is Naudshah, this is by that. I cannot. Okay. But if you analyze it worse, you can see patterns. Okay. I would say the names are Ibrahim who was a dia assistant for many, many years. I never heard him. Are you? No. You, you should see uh, any movie credits, music assistant Ibrahim. Ibrahim. It's given. The ah. name is given. But which Ibrahim only God knows. Oh, for see. example, my name is given in the movie Sati. Shafi Jerry. Which Jerry oh, only God that's knows. That's it. Eh? Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if you go into the internet now, ask uh, among Navshah's assistant, my name is given as Jerry Amalde. Oh, now it uh, is. Yeah, yeah. But in those days it was just Jerry. You know, there are so many Jerry's there. <laughs> there were some, some Govan Jerry's also. Uh -huh. yeah. But anyway. Uh, <clears throat> so you are so saying about Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Uh -huh. Ibrahim, one day I, as I was reaching Navshah's house one morning, from far away I could hear some unbelievable singer singing alaps in yeah. Malkos. Malkos. So. Yeah. And he was playing harmonium like electricity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I slowly walked in from the back door, just <laughs> listening to him. Uh. And I looked at him. One one-eyed man uh. sitting with dirty kurta pajama, uh. singing away to glory. And afterwards he recognized my presence, he stopped. Then I said, hmm. Ah, can't I? And I said, I'm so sorry. Oh, Naya assistant, hey. <laughs> Uh, and so then I said, uh, this Markov is unbelievable. Oh, yes. This is, I used to play harmony for Fayyaz Khan for many years. Whoa. For Kacheri and all that. Uh. So I have learned all this from these Ustads. And uh, I have also contributed a lot for various movies and so on. Then I said, what did you do as an assistant? Huh. He asked me, what are you doing now? <laughs> so the, the answer was uh. clear. Anyway, so that is Ibrahim, a great composer. Okay. Yeah, if you can remember all the early movies like Dillagi uh, Dulari, Divana, Dastan, An, and all that. All the songs, you know. And in Mother India. Dukhu bhar din bhitare bhaiya, ab sukh layo re, tang jeevan minaya lai ho. Dukhu bhar din. You know what is it? They have taken the UP4 song. Takka, tikka, tikka, takka, takka. Ta, 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 that beat or that, that vajan, they have put mm. it into this raga. Uh, I'll listen, Bindaravani Sarak. <laughs> that's yeah. it. So that's a great combination. Folk music and Bindaravani Sarak. Ah. That is the strength of Ibrahim. And there are many songs like that. And there was another man called G. M. Durrani. Durrani. Have you never heard of it? No. Um, there was a movie called Didar. You yeah. remember? A Didar song. Meri Muhabbat. No, Meri Kahani. Meri Kahani. That we all know. Yes. But you don't know one song like this. Nazar Peru Naham Se. Ham Hai Tum Par. Marne walo me Dhrim tam pam 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 Dhrim pam pam ti dhr li dhr Nazar pe ro na ham se Nazar pe ro na ham se Hum hai tum pa Marne walo me Tumhara naam Dhe likh lo Mohabbat karne walo me Mohabbat karne walo very elaborate song like yeah. that. Who is it? G.M. Durrani. Oh, that is Durrani. So, this was going on in your life, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, which is a long marathon, several marathon sessions. Exciting marathon sessions. Now, the, you, how did you come to Cornell? I mean, Cornell. Of ah, very good question, Rana. So, From while I was working with Nausha Sa, mm -hmm. I found out that there are many. Uh, Anglo-Indian, Mangalorean and Govan musicians behind the whole thing. Oh, yeah? Who never get exposed. You hear only the names of music directors like uh -huh. 
all these people. But the people who actually coordinate or the total orchestra uh -huh. are these Goans or Mangalorians uh -huh. or Anglo Indians. Uh -huh. For example, let's say, uh, you remember uh, Ann song? Ding 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 Maybe Nasha Sahib will say, let us begin like that. After that, somebody has to play the accordion, somebody yeah. has to decide while the accordion is going on, what is happening with the percussion. So, yes, so in other words, have... the entire orchestra, handling of the orchestra, under the suggestions of the music director, is actually done by these Govans and Anglo Indians. Mm -hmm. So, that uh, is a very basic question. What you, you said, who are the other people? So we have, so, but when I came to know these people, these uh, Anglo-Indians and people, they themselves, some of them are trained in Goa. You know, in Goa, yeah. uh, the Catholic churches uh, in every Goa, uh, in every Catholic church in Goa has got a small music school. Okay. Because in old Portuguese custom. Yeah. So these people have learned the technique and art of harmony. Oh, harmony. So, because of that, these people can coordinate the orchestration. And when I came to know these people, even they are not pakka. Oh, no? Yeah. So at that time, I realized you know, half baked affair will not do. Mm. Maybe I should then study it properly. Huh. And the thought occurred, and my brother, who was there, you know, my Mr. V. J. Carmelis, my okay. eldest okay. brother, yeah, I told him I'm feeling the need to do something, like to study properly. And he said, "Okay, if you tell me, I shall arrange a scholarship." So, oh, really? Yeah. So he arranged a scholarship for me hmm. in a very small university in New Orleans called New Orleans. Yeah, Xavier University, where I did my bachelor's. Hmm. So I felt the need to study Western music properly. Okay. That is what brought me to New Orleans and from there to Cornell. You came to Cornell. Yeah. Now, Cornell, of course, we know yeah. what you did. Yeah. You did your master's. Yeah, I did my master's After in composition. That, in composition. Yes. And you could have stayed in the U.S. I could have. So, what made you come back to India? Yeah, I'll tell you. I thought I, my real dream was to become a professor of music. Oh. But then I found this. Even getting the master's degree took me five years. And if I went <laughs> for oh, yeah, yeah, because I, I have to compete with this Jewish brain from New York. You know, uh -huh. Cornell is full of the boys yeah. and girls from New York City. Yeah. yeah. So I found competing with them. It's not an easy task. No. I, mean, I, I mean, I my musical, Western music training is very rudimentary, nothing compared to these children are born into the piano, uh -huh. you know. They are from childhood, they are playing piano, they are hearing the latest uh, symphony and this and that. So I found that competition was holding me back. Okay. If I want to get the PhD, it will take at least five more years. My God. Then I will be an old man. Mm -hmm. I said, we'll stop with this. And then my brother said, perhaps you should go back and your original thing was to learn this technique properly and incorporate it in the, the film boom. music. Yeah. That was my idea.